of the way we're wired. <coughs> When we start thinking as human beings, the way we usually accept something as a as an understanding or a belief or a concept, it's that we ascribe some kind of emotional tat- attachment to that, some some kind of dependence on something. Like, oh, I can depend on this, and so the belief system becomes wired, hardwired, kind of in these different emotional and cognitive states but um, if we have the understanding that there's something there's something prior to all that there's a there's a more pure original there's a pure original formless form of this of this wisdom inherent in the universe that it's pure it has a way to to turn something from bad to good it it has a way to cultivate beings in the universe into something good if if we trust it if we trust that it exists so that's how we need to use christianity as a as a tool like that and uh but not to ascribe some uh, hard emotional energy uh, emotional dependence on on uh, Jesus Christ we need to understand the virtues that he is explaining he is expressing he is exemplifying that it is through these virtues this is the way to god i'm showing you the way um yeah in the 23rd century now people are very emotionally weak they they need to depend on 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 something they need they need something these old training systems like uh, in, in buddhism and buddhist meditation it can, and also Taoist have some have some uh, methods for that, and and I and uh, the Vedic system, yoga has some some training methods for that to bring the mind into a more emotional uh, equilibrium, so that our awareness can rest can rest in some other baseline. In the Taoist system, we build up this life force energy. Our mo- our mind can can rest in that, and then our our brain waves can synchronize and can rest. The mind doesn't need to think about anything, doesn't need to conceptualize anything, doesn't need to believe in anything, doesn't need to ex- no energy. If you are a master of this, when they measure your brain waves, they'll think you're dead because there will be no, nothing will be, uh, all of your yang energy, all of your yang awareness is resting in this pure chi. And, and this for me, it's a way to really, to know God, to know that there is this pure, this pure energy, this is provided from God. This is provided to us by God. It's up to us what we want to do with it. But if we, if we at least give some of this energy back to God, we allow there to be a connection between God and us through this energy. 
we trust the value, the virtues that Jesus Christ exemplified. That this is the way. So, unfortunately, there are some things uh, that there were some uh, ways in the past that people could have a relatively stable emotional baseline. But now in the you know 21st century, the internet and and just widespread news, no matter where the where where you are in the world, you know exactly what's happening in every other part of the world because of the internet. So now, you know, your awareness is and and your your mind just gets polarized in all these different ways. Your awareness gets polarized and short circuits your energy and just it depletes your chi. And then, you know, it's so many complicated issues today. So that means that if we want to use, if we want to really understand how to practice Qigong, and we really want to understand how to build up this vital energy, we have to go right back to the, to the basics, to the most basic understanding of energy. What is consuming energy? What is building energy? And so we have to look at our entire lifestyle. We have to make a, we have to make a choice. Is staying up late at night depleting energy or building energy? Is you know arguing with my girlfriend? Is it depleting energy or building energy? Being together with uh, a partner just because we are want to have some sex in our life. And or you know we, we want we want this person to fill a certain space so we can say oh, yeah, this this is where you fit into this part of my puzzle, you know, whatever it is from a ma masculine or a feminine perspective, from a male or a female uh, perspective, you know what it, whatever it is it, it's um, again this is being is this your pure energy is this is this what you you need to um, amplify your your own life force to improve to enhance your uh, life life force? Is it you know is it accommodating for the life force or is it you know is it providing a shitty a shitty place for the life force to stay? You have to understand what the life force likes and then. When we can make our body like that, we got a lot of life force. Okay, so now I'm gonna do some training. I'm gonna have to bring it all back because whatever you. So, I have to talk and intellectualize it, you know, so I have to bring all the light back. 